Turning now to the six-month promise Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan made to residents when he took office. Give me six months, he said, to show that his administration can tackle the city's problems. How has he done? Our partners with the Detroit Journalism Cooperative, Bridge Magazine, Michigan Radio, and WDET Radio have all focused reports on this six-month mark this week. So let's go ahead and take a look. Gentlemen, uh, is six months, when he said that at his uh, address, it was like, well, he kind of threw it down and said, don't do anything, don't go anywhere, give me six months to show. Has he delivered on that promise? No, I mean, it's still inconclusive. He hasn't been in charge in six months. He's been partially in charge. So, I mean, his ability to influence events in Detroit has been limited by the emergency manager. And, you know, Kevin Orr still has uh, most of the power, most of the control. What you can say he's done in six months is, is sort of restored confidence to a certain degree among, among city residents. I think people do believe that he can do the job and will do the job when his time comes. And I think people sense, get a sense of motion here, which is important. If you're, if you're asking people to, to stay, to stick it out, to wait until things get better, to stay in these neighborhoods where their services still aren't great, they have to believe things are getting better. And I would think that's his greatest accomplishment in these first six months is he, he has given them that sense of motion and progress. Bold on his part to give that six month promise knowing full well that he has an emergency manager and six months really isn't a lot of time. It's not, it's not nearly enough time to, to really change the reality for people in the city, but I mean, I think uh, Nolan's right. I, I sort of see it as him setting up the framework to be able to make things work better in the city and I think you can see a lot of signs of that the people he has around him the way things function uh, in this administration just his doggedness uh, uh, you, uh, you talk to anybody who's had to deal with him uh, and something he wants something he wants done the, the, the relentless way he goes about getting that um, is very different uh, than what we've had in City Hall for a really long time and so I think once he does get control those things will will help enormously uh, move move the ball. You also have some important uh, uh, sort of framework coming from other places. This uh, blight removal task force mm -hmm. uh, report is a huge step forward in cataloging what what we're looking at when we when we're looking at this city of you know so many empty structures and vacant lots. Uh, there's money now behind that to start taking stuff down and cleaning it up. Uh, he's got the Detroit Future City Report that can help shape what those neighborhoods will be like uh, afterward. I mean, I think th he's poised to be able to move stuff uh, quickly, but, but it's still gonna take, um, it's still gonna take a long time before your average Detroit resident can say, wow, things are really, really different. And he, he's um, been smart in that he's not swinging for the fences. It's not a home run game. Yeah. Singles and doubles, moving right. around the bases, getting uh, things accomplished uh, a little at a time. As you as you mentioned, he's done, and he's done these home auctions, mm -hmm. small things that people notice, and it makes a difference. It makes residents feel like, hey, he's got ideas, and he's got the skills to do this, yeah. um, rather than big pie-in-the-sky initiatives that people have no confidence in. How is his administration different from others that we've seen in City Hall and Detroit City Hall? Well, I mean, one thing you hear from people who work down there is, uh, again, this this accountability that that <laughs> strange word in Detroit City Hall. You know, uh, a couple people who've worked there through several administrations have have told me that, you know, with with past mayors, they might ask you to do something or ask you about something. Uh, on Monday and you wouldn't hear about it again for several months. Uh, say if Duggan asks you something on Monday, uh, the next Monday he comes back and says, what did you do with this? And if it's not done, you know, he, he gets after you. Um, that's a huge change and that kind of management in City Hall is going to get the most out of a workforce that is depleted, number one, uh, underskilled, uh, number two. Um, and and really needs uh, you know a push to get to to, the, to to better service delivery. And he's going to have to move forward pretty quickly though. Once coming out of this bankruptcy process to help rebuild the city to get that tax base going to get people to move into the city, yeah. which is going to be key. Last twenty seconds, final thoughts. Well, yeah, Nolan. growth is key, and then six months is too is not enough time to change a culture. And what has to change at City Hall more than anything else is not process. It's the culture. It's the mindset of the people who go in 
to work every day. You're still hearing stories about people saying they can't get through the bureaucracy. I think he'll take care of it, but that's going to take some time. All right, gentlemen, thanks so much. It's always good to see you, and that's going to do it for my week. For more on this six-month assessment story from our partners with the DJC, please go to our website, myweek.org. We will have all the links right there for you. And that is going to do it for my week. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Take care. Michigan's economy has begun to turn around. Michigan's gained over 250,000 new jobs. We've paid off $20 billion in long-term debt. And our population is increasing for the first time in a decade. But to make Michigan a top 10 state, there's still plenty of work to be done. Step up and help put Michigan on top. Learn what you can do at michiganturnaroundplan.com. Funding is also provided by Delta.